Hello everyone and welcome back to Coronas Plays Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Today, well, we should be pretty much infiltrating uh, Liston Fortress. Now we gotta go down one more floor. We gotta go back to the cargo bay and I guess get put in this. Hey, Gustav. Good you're here. Looks like you got everything set up. I'm all done with disguising the container. Really? Doesn't look like you did anything to it. If you just open it up, all you'll see is... Oh, you meant on the inside. All right. All you see are these plates that are used for fixing ship holes. But there's another door on this side, and you can't tell it it's there when it's closed. I would imagine they would have ways to detect that. Hey, that's pretty cool. This ought to fool the biosensor and allow us to sneak in. So all that's left is for you to pile in. Are you folks ready for this? Of course we are. I was born ready. <laughs> Insert generic freaking action movie one-liner. Okay, and then you'll need to get in one at a time. Once you're in all inside, I'll close the hidden door. Understood. I'll go first. Man, this is cramped. You're not even inside yet. If you don't get it, uh, if we don't get it exactly right, a oh, blushing. Question marks? Stella, are you okay? I'm fine. There we go. Turn your head this way. Okay. Oh, um, Joshua, I don't know about holding this pose. Yeah, we we've got to. Uh, we just got to deal with it. Otherwise, we'll never get all four of us in here. Right? Yeah. Uh, we have to do this. <clears throat> Next up is Tita. I got you're in the back. Giggity. We should all fit in if we uh, do it that way. Okay, in I go. Oof, sorry, Estelle. Aw, oh, Tita, you're all warm and snuggly. Mmm, and you even smell kind of sweet, like fresh milk. Okay, let's not get a freaking put on any lists here, alright, Estelle? Hey, don't hug me so tight. I kind of can't breathe. Hee <laughs> hee, it's not that bad, is it? Hmm, what? Uh, my, what squishable cheeks you have. Eep! Estelle, quit playing around. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Hey, kids, make a little room. Oof. There. Is it too cramped? No, 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 I'm okay. I can hold out. Don't be stubborn. If it's too uncomfortable, just say so. Okay. Okay, man. I think we're all set. Gotcha. I'll close the door. I'll make sure we unload this container ASAP after we land. And from there, it's all on you. Just be patient and stay calm. Good luck, kids. Oh, that was awkward. You would imagine the military fortress would have ways of, like, detecting hidden Kinto. Then again, probably not. Like, I don't think, in reality, we have ways of detecting hidden compartments like that. Though, then again, like, I guess we're blocking the sensor and that would be their way of finding the apartment. Like, an x-ray would be a way to see, like, a gap in something. I'm interested? I'm here, as per your request. Oh, it's this guy. Yeah, I was saying he looks uh, kind of, like, depressed, but there was some comments saying he looks more, like, overworked and exhausted. Uh... And I do want to pick a new voice for him. I was doing him like a creepy weird scientist dude last time. It doesn't doesn't exactly fit, but then again, some people do have voices that just don't fit them. Nice. Hello, Chief Gustav. I'm sorry to make you come all this way. That said, I am however I am impressed. I wasn't expecting you to get here so soon. The Royal Military is one of my best customers. You folks are always a priority. Not to mention the order sounded pretty urgent. I already finished the maintenance on the patrol ship. Did something happen? Oh, uh, nothing significant, just your usual military matters. Ah, yes, I've heard about the attack on the Central Labs. I've certainly come into possession of a clue which may help us wrap this, uh, wrap up this matter within a little... Within as little as a few days. Are you talking about the photograph I gave you? Oh, that's excellent news. Professor Russell is one of, our great, uh, one of my greatest inspirations and benefactors. I hope he hasn't been injured. No, 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 uh, you can relax on that score. Oh... How can you be so sure? It seems that the abductors are demanding a ransom for the Professor Safer's turn. 
That wishes that she's unharmed or in pieces, because I gotta send them to you if he's in pieces. Or if he wants a ransom and you don't pay. So I don't think that that's a concern. I see. Well, it looks like the Royal Armed Forces have this well under control. So are you planning to do another container check today? I trust you, but regulations must be adhered to. Alright, grunts. Really? You just call them grunts? Is that an official title? Cause that's just insulting if it's not. Get to work! Roger that, sir. We're still evil. Roger. Nothing unusual here. Next one. This one's clear! I was just about to ask what that beeping noise is. It's a biosensor, everyone. I'm picking up an anomaly on the sensors. Looks like it's alive, whatever it is. What? What is this, maintenance chief? Uh, hey now, I have no idea. Are you sure your equipment's working in working order? Of course it is. It's the central lab made biosensor. Well, if you say so, it's probably just a mouse or some such. Hardly worth making such a fuss over, isn't it? Regulations are regulations. Surround the container, men! Alright, open it up. It's the kitty! Huh? Meow. Oh, it's just... Antonine? Antonine? When did you sneak off, huh? Meow? No, it's meow. Okay, so what's with the cat? His name's Antoni. He lives on the central. He lives at the central labs. I guess he sneaked onto the Lepnis. He certainly gave me quite a shock. False alarm, I guess. I mean, he was on the plane. Meow. Uh, I suppose that one can't blame. I suppose that one can't blame a cat for being a cat. Hey, you. If you like it here, you're welcome to stay for a while. Hey, now, don't try to tempt him. Uh, purr? Meow. I think I'm getting the cold shoulder. <laughs> too bad. Still, that biosensor is pretty impressive piece of work. If not for it, Antonin uh, would have packed away, uh, packed away in storage. Or would have been packed away. Well, it is a central lab make, of central lab make. All right, men, check the other containers. Yes, sir! Are we just gonna jump out and attack these guys? I see the save point, well, not save point, but the rest point. I appreciate your efforts. Uh, we'll bring the containers in tomorrow, so you can return to the barracks for now. P or pardon me, Major, but how long is the current emergency c command structure expected to last? Dots? That, that's right. We're army, sir. Why do we have to associate with them? It's not that I don't understand what you're getting at, but it's not the place of a soldier to question the orders of a superior officer. Besides, you never know who's watching or listening. Discretion is a must at all times. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. God, I want to watch Aliens 2. Well, just Aliens, not Aliens 2. Oh, I feel guilty. Major, I have intel to report. Captain Malthia has come and wishes and wishes to speak with you, sir. I see. Very well. I suppose we'll have to see what the little vixen has to say. That's the meaning. I think. Also kind of odd. Phew! Huh. I can't feel my legs anymore. You okay, Tita? Yeah, just a little fuzzy in the head is all. Well, don't. <laughs> we should probably wait until that clears up so you don't blow us one like one of us away with your cannon. But we gotta we get the equipment to work. Yeah, nice job. It was a tight situation, literally, but you stepped up. Hee <laughs> hee. Thank you, Agat. But anything showing up like that really spooked me. Yeah, he was right in the next container over. I thought we'd be discovered for sure. I think the chief put him in there on purpose. The fa that false alarm got the soldiers to relax. He kept a cool head, though. Hey, that does sound like something the chief would do. Sure. I guess. Maybe? Definitely a man not to mess with. Now, we ought to get moving. So where are we? We are at the landing port. There is a bridge? 
or a corridor to the south of where we are. But I want to go up north a little bit to the wharf and the war watchtower. Uh, we're somewhere close to the airport, airship port. Yes, I figured that much. That's where the containers were dropped. We need to plan, or else we'll never make, uh, fa never find the professor. So Estelle, check the map and tell you which way we should go. Oh no. Huh? Why are you asking me? Call it a test of how observant you are. Time's short, so let's have you answer. Shit. Uh, the barracks to the left of us, command center in the middle, research wing in the middle. Uh, probably the re research, uh, research, uh, research wing, right? It's a professor. They might have him doing something, or they maybe are they, j they are just ransoming someone. Command center, I don't think they would hold a hostage there. A, bar a barracks would be full of soldiers, even if they are asleep, you still don't want to go there. Main gate is the exit. Watchtower is, well, a watchtower, so probably shouldn't have to go there. So, research wing? Well, well, call me, color me surprised. Huh, just leave it to me. Great job, kid, but don't get cocky. What'd you take, Joshua? I agree with her. Since it's a standalone facility, it's probably the best place to make use of the professor's talents. As my cat climbs on me, get off, buddy. There you go. I think you're right. We don't have much time, so let's go check it out. Oh god, do we have an exit strategy? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you, this is a suicide mission. None of us are leaving alive. The lake on the other side of the airship port has a wharf. Yeah. I was actually gonna just go up there. Once we get the old man, we can steal a boat from there. Okay, got it. Alright, let's go check out the research area. You stay close, Tita. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's... Can I bring up that map? There we go. I actually forgot how to open a map for some reason. It's the left stick button, R3, I think it's usually called. Uh, we don't need the rest. So we're here. This looks like it leads down. We can't use the button. And we can't go this way yet, right? These stairs lead down to the wharf. We can use them to get out of, okay. So we don't have to go here just yet. It doesn't look like there's any treasure. Can I move? I cannot move the camera. I, I've been trying this entire time and just been not seeing that little no camera button. Alright, so we're gonna go through here. The research wing is literally right there. Is this gonna be? Oh, the main gate's right to the south here, too. That would be very... Very stupid of Estelle to be like, oh, they're holding the hostage at the main gate. Why would they ever do that? Alright, so what do we do here? I guess here, you're not weak to anything. I am gonna kill these poor dogs. I do want to use Estelle's Barrage at the same time. Uh, no, not yet. You don't have any of that because I just used that, but attack that dude. You knocked him out of the circle, and I am very upset about that. You can use... Fires off recovery round. Tita! That's awesome! But smoke screen. Or smoke cannon. Oh, did we hit all of them? We did! Nice. Alright, um... Sweet. So you guys... Are not all dead. Well, two of you are, at the very least. You should be able to kill that one. Good job. 15, 15, 3. Well, he is higher level than us, so it's understandable. Another new enemy? No, it's the one we just fought. Oh, no, it's not. That's one of the wolves that we've been encountering all this time. Yeah, it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, apparently uh, uh, AT delay is going to be really useful coming up, from what I was told. I mean, this sounds useful in general. Let's see. That should be fine. Come down here, do a little bit of diamond dusting. You have three, so you can do this one. Knock them out of the circle. Good job. Just 
Smoke screen. I actually thought we killed both of them for a second. And I don't think we hit anyone with that. Oh, we did! Okay, cool. Joshua, you attack. Good job. I got finished that one off. This party's actually sick. I like it. And I want some more of it. Okay, let's look on the map. We are right there. We're in the courtyard. There's two entrances we can do. Well, there's three entrances, right? One leads to the barracks. One leads to the research wing. And the one leads to the command center. Which doesn't seem right. So, so dogs all over the place. So that's where we came out of, right? Jesus, these guys respond pretty fast, don't they? Wait, no, this is where we came out of. It's locked. Well, crap. So yeah, that's where we came out of. We just gotta go north a little bit. This area is a lot larger than I uh, was expecting in terms of like size of a courtyard. Oh, I know them. Oh, that's the airship, right? Yeah. Wow, we get over there fast. Huh, <laughs> so they are here. The airship from the tower. I thought they must be military. They look nothing like the regular soldiers, though. They're probably a special force. Here to uh, practice covert ops. It's no wonder they're so tough. They're not that tough. So my grandpa is in there? It's looking more and more likely. But if they try and take the, uh, if we try and take them here, we're going to have the rough time of it. You're right. If we can cause a disturbance, we'll get swarmed by. If we cause a disturbance, we'll be swarmed by the soldiers inside. Isn't there some way we can get inside without getting spotted? I mean, probably. This area is like just ripe for treasure. Game, come on! You're doing a lot of things right, but your whole hidden treasure thing is just. Ah, oh, it's leaving much to be desired, uh, Trails in the Sky. Come on. Cue comments of me missing, like, a hundred hidden treasures. Are we going to sabotage the ship? That seems like something that would cause a disturbance. Like, what am I supposed to do here? Cause a disturbance. I don't want to get too close to them. I'm not seeing anything though. Oh, never mind. Hey, can't we get in from here? No, there are iron bars on the window. <laughs> I mean, obviously. <laughs> if we can, if we make any noise, this is going to get even tougher. Oh, jackpot. Huh? Oh, it's Colonel Dick. I really can't thank you enough, Professor Ruffle. Your work on finding the means of controlling this gospel is of great help. On behalf of the Intelligence Division, I extend my deepest gratitude. <laughs> I should have known that you were behind all this. Colonel Richard, Chief of Intelligence. Hard to believe you, were once, uh, you once served under Cassius. Ah, yes. You and he were friends, if my memory serves me correctly. But we have been looking for him, actually, although we have yet to pin down his exact location. If you have some idea of where to base a search, we'd be happy to have that information. I don't know. Not that I'd tell you if I did. <laughs> well, no matter. If perchance the gospel were to have been delivered into his hands, then I'm afraid it would have been it would have present, presented a pro uh, problem. However, even if it were to show his if even if he were to show his face now, he would have no means of stopping this current. The black orbit, or the gospel as you call it. I just want to know what you plan to do with it. Snatch, scratch that. First and foremost, I want to know what you were even, uh, what, no, I want to know where you even acquired something that bizarre. I imagine my source would rather, uh, their identity be kept a secret. Our intentions, well, they will become evident, evident very soon. At that time, Professor, we'll be happy to release you. All I ask is that you wait. And you're going to, uh, and you're going to just let a witness to your crimes go free? I assume, then, you do, you that you intend to do something on a grand scale. <laughs> I'll leave the particulars up to your fetal imagin- uh, fertile imagination. That said, come the dawn when everything is realized, you will, you will assist in our research. This invention will bring liberal riches like none ever before seen. Not interested. Please, Professor, allow him to finish before you give your answer. 
It would truly be a pity if she were to come into some peril, and you were unable to help her. You, you threaten her to get me? Tut tut, Ca uh, Captain Amalthea. It looks like your renowned powers of persuasion are not as elegant as they, as they once were. <laughs> Pardon me, then. One might say that she has a unique sense of humor. I don't want any misunderstandings between us, but you must understand that we are only soldiers. You have my word that no civilians will be involved, save for you, of course. So you're doing this out of some twisted sense of patriotism. Then, the, this black woman that can shut down all power. I see. So that's your plan, is it? Hmm? Uh, pardon me. Hello, Lieutenant. The Colonel, the Colonel is presently in a meeting. He wants no interruptions. No, it's all right. Give me your report, Lieutenant. There's been activity in Gransel. The White Wings are caught in the net, but just as you planned. My goodness. <laughs> Check and mate. Now, Professor, if you'll please excuse me. Major Sid, see the professor and make sure see to the professor and make sure he's comfortable. Yes, sir. Is there anything you need, Professor? I'll get you set up with any of the standards and uh, anemones. Anemones? Yeah, sure. Mm, I'm fine. I used to believe that you were different from the others. That you were a good, upstanding man. Apparently, I have overestimated you. My apologies. But you've been abducted by rebels, you see. Rebels against the Queen. Nameless, unknown rebels. They seem pretty known to me! Stress that fact, and I might even let you write the letter to your- uh, write a letter to your granddaughter. Get out of my sight! As you wish. So we still not killing anyone? Because I feel like we should. So Colonel Richard was the man behind all this trouble. Plus, it looks like he wants to find my dad. Yeah, I wonder what the uh, wonder what's that what's that what's that's all about. I wonder what that's all about. Yeah, there we go. And who is that masked man? Of course, that bastard would show up now. <laughs> and there he goes. We really should have sabotaged that ship to blow up as soon as it took off. Grand plans, but what will, what will come of them? I kind of thought the masked man there, the lieutenant, the second lieutenant, was a woman. Now things have gotten interesting. I really wanted to settle the score with him, but I've got a job to do, and that takes precedent. Since the window's a no-go, we'll have to take out the guards. Let's make this quick and clean. Right. Get the sniper rifle. Joshua, are you listening? Um, Estelle? Are you okay? Hey, snap out of it. It's not like you to freeze up. S sorry, I just spaced out. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm fine. It's no big deal. We'll have to take out the guards by the entrance, right? Yep. Well, let's. So let's get a move on. Yeah, but like, we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below if you're not subscribed yet. Let me end my videos so I can check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.